All right, uh, today I wanted to give you a quick overview of the ID Wedge product. Uh, the ID Wedge product includes a two dimensional barcode scanner, mag stripe reader, a USB cable which communicates with the PC as well as powers the scanner, and a program that gets loaded onto your device, onto your PC, and typically sits in the uh, system task bar. Um, the program name is ID Wedge. I'm going to open it up here. Uh, this is the main screen and today I want to show how to configure ID Wedge so that it fills out a, um, an Excel spreadsheet. So you go to the formula input screen. I already have a formula defined here where uh, you can see it's a series of fields followed by tab keystrokes. So each field is called out on the formula input form here. Uh, first, last, middle, title, address, city, state, zip, date of birth, date of expiration, driver's license number, height, eye color, date of birth in month, month format, uh, date of birth in DD and YYY, or if you just want it, YY format, the serial number of the scanner, the current date and time in this format, uh, the current date rather, the current time, gender of the individual, class, hair, weight, endorsement, restrictions, if it's a CAC card and you are a military customer, you can also extract rank and serial number. That's only for CAC cards, and we will only provide this product to military customers. Um, and then these are the keystrokes that uh, you can intersperse between the fields. So tab, enter, down arrow, up arrow, left arrow, right arrow. These are the keystrokes you would normally put to navigate the cursor on a form. So for an Excel spreadsheet, we really just use the tab keystrokes to move column to column and then an enter keystroke to move the cursor down to the next line or next row. So I'll minimize ID Wedge and if it's running, when I scan an ID here, um, the data will fill in and you can see driver's license number, this is the uh, first name, last name, this is the street address, uh, city, state, this is the zip code, date of birth, and the current date and time. I'll scan a couple more cards so you can get a feel for how fast it goes. Ned Flanders and you certainly can get an idea that this product will allow you to populate in an Excel spreadsheet very quickly. So that gives you an idea of how the product works. Uh, just as another example, um, if you opened up ID Wedge and eliminated the enter key stroke at the end of the formula here, you'll find that what happens is the cursor is left at the end of the form or the end of the row. Uh, we have got a couple customers who use this in recycling applications where they would then, for instance, move the cursor over here and type, uh, you know, uh, aluminum or something like that. Uh, you can even have the program move over to the next um, co column by, again, going back to the formula screen and put in an additional tab I'll just type it in and that would move the cursor over to the empty column where you could type in that note. So minimize it again, scan the next ID and now it's in this column and you could write copper for instance. So that gives you a quick idea of what ID, s ID Wedge does and there are many other ways that the formulas can be configured. Um, we have customers who use them to fill out web forms, fill out uh, customer input forms in QuickBooks. It's all a combination of the fields as well as the keystrokes to move the cursor around on the, on the form. And that's the end of our demo. Thank you.